Right, Missy Copeland is ballet's breakout star. As we reported last week, she was just named a principal dancer by the American Ballet Theater. Copeland is the first female African-American principal in the company's 75-year history. She is here for her first interview since the announcement. Misty, enormous congratulations. Yay! Thank you. I know how much this means to you. It's, yeah. You've worked so hard. It is it's, so hard just to become a principal dancer, but with all is. the symbolism attached to this, it it's is. monumental. It's very surreal, and I say over and over again that I'm just standing on the shoulders of so many who have set this path for me, and they may not be seen or recognized or have been given an opportunity to have a voice, but I'm here representing all of those dancers. Dance Theater of Harlem, Virginia Johnson, Ty Jimenez, um, Lauren Anderson. So it's, it's such an honor to be a principal dancer with American Ballet Theater. Well, we were waiting all week for this announcement to come. We were so, so excited for you. How did you celebrate? I haven't really yet. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I found out um, in the middle of the week, and then you just got to keep performing. I went right. straight into rehearsals after, so my phone was just exploding, and then people were like, answer my calls, and I'm like, I'm dancing. Yeah. Uh, so our season just ended uh, Saturday night, so once I go on vacation, I think it'll start to sink in. <laughs> you know what I love about your story is you really owned this moment. You didn't just yes. say, I'm a ballerina who happens to be an African-American. Yes. You understood the symbolism of the moment. What do you want people to see when they see you? Um, I wanted to set an example for what the future of dance holds. Um, I think American Ballet Theater is, is setting that standard now for classical ballet um, that you can dream big and it doesn't matter what you look like, where you come from, what your background is. That's what I, that's the example that I want to set and what I want to leave behind. When, when we spoke last year for Sunday morning, yeah. you said you thought you would always have to prove yourself, mm -hmm. you know, that you would have to prove that it doesn't matter what color you are, what body type you have. Do you still feel that way? You know, I think this is just the start, and it doesn't mean that the work's going to end. It doesn't mean it's going to get easier for the next generation, uh, that it's going to be a walk in the park, but I think it's going to open up those doors for people. You know, I spoke to Raven Wilkinson, who was the first African-American woman to dance with the Ballet Rouge in the 1950s, and she said, I never thought I would see this in my lifetime. And it just means so much to me that I'm sharing it with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know now you're embarking on another new beginning, uh, <laughs> appearing on Broadway on the town yeah. where you'll have to dance, uh, sing, right? Yes. <laughs> you're braver than we thought. I know, much braver than yeah. we thought. How are you going to do all of this? Um, you're so busy. Well, ABT season just finished, mm -hmm. so we usually get about a two-month break um, mm -hmm. in the summer. So I thought if there's a time to dive into a new challenge and something that I think is going to further me even more in my ballet career, which is, comes first and foremost for me, um, this is definitely that opportunity, and now is the time. Now that ABT is off, um, it will happen this is for a big, two weeks. This is a yeah. big part, and you it's have to sing. <laughs> How do you feel about your singing voice? Um, I've never really sung in front of a big crowd. Um, I shared this story that I actually, uh, Twyla Tharp had me come in and audition for Moving Out, her Broadway show, and I had no idea that I was going to have to sing. So I think Twyla Tharp might be the only person that's heard me sing, and I wow. sang a Madonna song. Uh, <laughs> so it, yeah, she can let you know how that sounded. <laughs> Great, so it'll be two weeks on Broadway at the end of August, beginning of September, yes. is that right? Yes, so Perfect. It's, it's coming up very soon. It's exciting. And you were telling us, you just wrapped up uh, doing Swan Lake this past Saturday. Yeah. What was it like to play that iconic role? Um, it's, I never saw myself as the swan. I think that's just something that is kind of ingrained as us, in us as ballet dancers that you don't typically see a black woman portraying that role. So it's not something I really dreamed of doing. So when I found out I would be dancing the role, it was just like, okay, here we go. How am I going to become this? So it's, again, it's all so surreal and I'm living my dream and I'm, you know, principal or not, I'm getting to dance all the roles that I've dreamed right. of doing. And you've got glowing reviews for that, too. Just glowing reviews. And Misty, of course, your Under Armour ad has been viewed, I think, more than 8 million times now. We've got the women who just won. Oh, the, my gosh. The, the world so exciting. Cup. <laughs> We've got Venus and Serena playing each other. This yep. is a great 
uh, a great time for women a athletics, great right? Moment for yeah. us. Yeah. And I'm I couldn't be more honored to be a part of the Under Armour family and stand next to all of these incredible men, but standing next to them and representing strength and empowerment for young girls to be able to look up to and strive for. Yeah, I know it's that I, I will what I want, the Under Armour, and I love, I noticed on the women's soccer jersey, did you notice they had patches that said, live your goals, oh, yes. which I it's thought amazing. was amazing. And you are living your goals. I am. So excited, congratulations. <laughs> and I'm Thank sorry that Gail's not here. Gail came of course, I know. you're a big fan, and we were talking about you all last week, so congratulations. Thank you so much.